Do you remember the classic TV series To the Manor Born from 1979 to 2007? This series has been a source of joy for many generations of audiences with its humorous and profound story about the lives of British aristocrats. Join us in going back in time, looking back at familiar faces and discovering how their lives have changed after more than three decades. What are the stars of that year doing now and how has their career developed? Let's learn and experience these interesting stories. Celia Imri played Polly when she was 27 in 1979. Polly is a young and dynamic girl, distinguished by a cheerful and optimistic personality, always ready to face any challenges. She is Audrey's close friend and always knows how to make everyone around her feel comfortable. Celia Imri's career flourished from this role and she became a famous TV star. She participated in many other films and TV shows such as Bridget Jones' Diary, Calendar Girl, and The Best Exotic Marigold Hotel. Now at 72, she continues to participate in acting and artistic projects. She lives happily with her son and always maintains an optimistic spirit, participating in charity and artistic activities. Dr. Horton personally, didn't I, Marjorie? Yes, you did. Yes, Dr. Horton did mention it. Said you wanted to register as a national health patient. <laughs> And we've seen you. The thing about you is, you're one of these people that you always look slightly mischievous. Oh, good. Yes, yes. there's always oh. a wee there's always a twinkle and in the with eye. you. <laughs> Takes one to know one. <laughs> Angela Thorne played Marjorie Frobisher when she was 40 years old in 1979. Marjorie is Audrey's best friend, a loyal and devoted woman, always ready to help her friends in any situation. She stands out with a cheerful personality and always knows how to make everyone around her feel comfortable. Angela Thorne's career flourished from this role, and she became a famous TV star. Sadly, she passed away on June 16, 2023 at 84, leaving sadness in the hearts of fans and colleagues. She lived happily with her husband, Peter Penry Jones, and two sons, always maintaining an optimistic spirit and participating in charity projects. Of all those fearfully successful wonder women going on about what incredibly efficient lives they lead, it fills me with a sense of inadequacy. <laughs> same and um, also we looked 26 years older <laughs> which you know uh, was a bit worrying but Rula Denska played Mao Dutour when she was 34 years old in 1981. Mao Dutour is an intelligent and charming French teacher distinguished by a strong determined personality and always knows how to maintain her dignity. She is Audrey's close friend and is always ready to help her in any situation. Rula Lenska's career flourished from this role, and she became a famous TV star. She has participated in many other films and TV shows, such as Rough Follies, Coronation Street, and EastEnders. Now at 76, she continued to participate in acting and artistic activities. She lives happily with her family and always maintains an optimistic spirit. She's been married and divorced twice and has two children. We to grant the franchise of our brand name to what is on effet no more than a country grocery. <laughs> Well, we're based in the country, yes, but we're a nationwide chain and we earn... We're aware because it's one of those people who were real privileged to meet. Mm -hmm. And she was extraordinary. She was about six foot five, Uncle Joseph. Penelope Kidd played Audrey Forbes Hamilton when she was 39 in 1979. Audrey is a high-class lady, proud and graceful, distinguished by a strong, determined personality and always knowing how to maintain her dignity. After losing her husband and having to sell Grand Lay Manor, she moved into a small house on the Manor's grounds and continued to maintain a complicated relationship with Richard Devere, the man who bought the Manor. Penelope Kidd's career flourished from this role and she became an icon in British TV. Now at the age of 84, she continues to participate in acting and TV projects. She lives happily with her husband Rodney Timpson and two children, always maintaining an optimistic spirit and participating in charity activities. My husband, you must forgive my little display of emotion, I can't help it. Well, haven't you got your emotions mixed up a bit? You don't expect me to go around po the whole time, do you? I can't... started good life in 1974, so heavens above, it's 40 years. Um, he was a remarkable man, he was incredibly generous, uh, always very kind. Peter Bowes played Richard Devere when he was 43 years old in 1979. Richard is a wealthy and intelligent businessman, distinguished by his decisive personality and always knowing how to deal with challenges in life. He bought the main of Grand Lay and quickly became the rival and then lover of Audrey Forbes Hamilton. Peter Bowes' career flourished from this role and he became a famous TV star. 
Sadly, he passed away on March 17, 2022 at 85, after a long battle with cancer, leaving behind sadness in the hearts of fans and colleagues, as well as a respectable artistic legacy. But not signed, I see. Yes, I get the message. Goodbye. More trouble? I know what you're after, Lumsden. You're after this job. No, dear fellow, not the prisoner, the persuaders, and many more. And 19 years ago, you played a particularly romantic role. It was April the 8th, 19... Anthony Sharp played Brigadier Lemington when he was 64 in 1979. Brigadier Lemington is a strict and decisive former military officer, distinguished by his tough, loyal personality and always putting justice first. He is Audrey's close friend and is always ready to help her in any situation. Anthony Sharp's career flourished from this role, and he became a famous TV star. He's also a talented screenwriter and director, with many successful works on stage and TV. Sadly, Anthony Sharp passed away on July 23, 1984 at 69. He lived a meaningful life and always maintained an optimistic spirit. He was married to Margaret Wedlick and had four children. Here, here, and here. And I'll have my command post here. That's the Mortlake Arms. Is it? <laughs> I have every right. I was put on this earth to combat sin, and I shall use every available me John Barron played Lumsden when he was 61 in 1981. Lumsden is a strict and dedicated manor, distinguished by his tough, loyal personality, and always putting his job first. He is Audrey's trusted friend, and always knows how to manage things effectively. John Barron's career flourished from this role, and he became a famous TV star. He has appeared in many other films and TV shows, such as The Fallen Rise of Reginald Perrin and Whoops Apocalypse. Sadly, he passed away on July 3, 2004 at 83. He lived a meaningful life and always maintained an optimistic spirit. John is married to Joan Sterndale Bennett and has two children. Not to mention the city, not too happy with your flamboyant management style. Happy enough with the profits though, aren't they? Yeah, well, profits have a habit of disappearing down the plug hole when times are bad like these. Without knowing a favorable report when I read one, great, super. No, I didn't get where I am today without being a real winner when I see one, great, super. Do you mind if I ask you a personal John Rattling played Barbinger when he was 72 in 1979. Barbinger is Audrey's loyal and devoted butler, always ready to help and care for her in every situation. He stands out with his calm, humorous personality and always knows how to make people around him feel comfortable. John Rattling's career flourished from this role and he became a famous TV star. Sadly, he passed away on December 18, 1983 at 76 after a heart attack, leaving sadness in the hearts of fans and colleagues. Waters of commerce. Uh, Will you be travelling by train, madam? Ah, yes, I think so. The rails is a bit of a problem in London traffic. Well, might be cheaper. The rail fares are going on for three figures now. Daphne Hurt played Mrs. Bolovica when she was 75 years old in 1979. Mrs. Bolovica is the mother of Richard Devere, an older woman but still very sharp and humorous. She stands out with a strong, determined personality and always knows how to maintain her dignity in difficult situations. Daphne Hurt's career flourished from this role and she became a famous TV star. Sadly, she passed away on June 22, 1983 at 78, leaving sadness in the hearts of fans and colleagues. In a refrigeration plant anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that I'm committed to an investment project and the company can't or... Daphne Olsen Ford played Mrs. Patterson when she was 60 years old in 1979. Mrs. Patterson is an older woman, but still very sharp and humorous. She stands out with a strong, determined personality and always knows how to maintain her dignity even in difficult situations. Daphne Olsen Ford's career flourished from this role and she became a famous TV star. She was also a familiar voice in the program Listen to Mother on BBC Radio from 1950 to 1971. Sadly, she passed away on December 21, 2012 at 93. She lived a meaningful life, always maintaining optimistic. She was married to David Marshall and had two daughters. Mrs. Patterson, I may not be here at the end of the month with all these do-it-yourselfers putting me out of business. <laughs> it's called free enterprise, Mrs. Patterson. Jared Sim played the rector when he was 54 in 1979. The rector is a wise and charming priest who brings calm and insight to any situation. He stands out with his calm and humorous personality and is always ready to help those around him. Gerald Sims' career flourished from this role, and he became a famous TV star. Sadly, he passed away on December 11, 2014 at 89, leaving sorrows in the hearts of fans and colleagues. 
He lived happily with his wife, Trader Banner, and his family, always maintaining optimistic spirit and participating in charity activities. Tonight, a man heapeth up riches and cannot tell who shall gather them. I can tell you who gathers them. The Inland Revenue and Customs and Excise. <laughs> Michael Bilton played Ned when he was 61 in 1979. Ned is a loyal and dedicated gardener, distinguished by his calm, humorous personality and always willing to help those around him. He is Audrey's trusted friend and always knows how to make people feel comfortable. Michael Bilton's career flourished from this role and he became a famous TV star. He also appeared in many other films and TV shows such as Bryce Had Revisited and Waiting for God. Sadly, he passed away on November 5, 1993 at 73. He lived a simple and happy life, always maintaining optimistic and participating in charity activities. He got married and divorced twice and had no children. Pine sturdy trees and we'll stay. Ah oh, yes, Ned planted them. Remember old Ned? He was always thinking I never paid him enough. Jonathan Elson played J.J. Anderson when he was 41 in 1979. J.J. Anderson is a smart and decisive businessman, distinguished by his tough personality, humor, and always knowing how to deal with difficult situations in life. Jonathan Elsom's career flourished from this role, and he became a famous TV star. He is also a talented sculptor and artist, with many works of art displayed at international exhibitions. Now at 85, he continued to participate in acting and artistic projects. He lives happily with his family and always maintaining an optimistic spirit, participating in charity and artistic activities. Clocks, you it's, know. it's worth hundreds in sentimental value. You can't sell anything at its sentimental value. Oh, good afternoon, madam. What is your favorite character in To the Main Born? And what do you think when some actors have passed away? Leave your comments below this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell to wait for my next videos. Thank you.